Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, today I'm actually going to be doing kind of an about me type of video thing. Now, as you guys know, this channel does look a lot at, like, as, as, as kind of a core thing, it does um, video game playthroughs. And, like most channels, I've actually been asked if there's anything if that's all I do outside of it. And yes, it is, as it is true, I do like playing video games. There are actually some other things that I do um, like doing outside of just that. So, and I'm not including the YouTube stuff either. I do actually play games outside of doing YouTube stuff. But there are actually some things that I like doing outside of just that. So I figured, you know what, why not make a video talking about that? So here we are. So, for starters, let's go down and like get a games type of path. Board games, card games, stuff like that. Well, realistically, when you subside, um, you know, electronic games, one of my favorite all, uh, games to play actually is Monopoly. There have actually been times where I've, like, there's been no one to play with so I get so bored instead of doing this because I'm just not you know into, in the mood for it I would actually play against myself and I would spend like three to four hours listening to random 80s music that I like listening to with some mixture of early 2000s modern stuff like that and I would play against myself for the length of those hours and I actually do find it fun. Um, I mean, I actually do like playing things like Clue or um, Yahtzee, stuff like that as well. But the thing about those games is it's not as easy to, for me at least, to just do that against myself. Yahtzee, maybe. Because that one's 100% luck. Roll a dice, see what ends up, and see if you can get those kind of scores. Whereas the high score wins. So yes, that one is it's doable. I just, I guess I don't find it as fun. Scrabble is another one that I like doing, but again, it's a situation of where you can't do it against yourself. You might as well just do be filling in a word search, which actually is another thing I enjoy doing that's not the same category. Word searches, Sudoku, um, stop, especially Sudoku. Bear in mind, I'm the kind of person who grew up loving math. I was, like, really good at it. I didn't love it, but I was really, really good at it. And I, 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 I got a spark from it, at least, I could say. But I didn't, I don't, I don't know. It, yeah, I guess it led to me liking, uh, playing Sudoku quite a bit on my own. It was very easy, very calming, and very fluent for me. But other than that, is there anything else? Sports, for example? Realistically, overall, as a whole, I do not like sports. With some very few exceptions, because when someone thinks of sports, they think things like football, basketball, soccer, or if you're from another region other than the United States, let's go this path. Football, um, football of the Americans, which is where I'm from. Um, baseball, basketball, uh, rugby, cricket. There, 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 there's, there's a lot. Tennis. I could go on forever, but these are like the well-known ones. There are some sports I like, though. Stuff like that I grew out of thanks to an ex-roommate and distant relative, kind of, of mine. Um, it's hard to explain. It's not like a relative where it's like a cousin or a sibling. No, 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 no. It's much more complicated than that. And it took me some time to actually realize that this was the case, too. You know, some actual research. Anyway, um, this particular individual who was also a roommate of mine actually kind of ruined general sports. Right? But there are still some that I do enjoy doing. And they're like minor ones, but they are technically sports. For example, bowling. Uh, I love bowling. It's actually one of my favorite activities, act, like active activities to do. I've actually been to 
uh, college campus that we live nearby that Amber actually goes to school for. Um, I've been there and gone bowling with her, with Aaron, with another friend of ours named Jake, multiple times. Um, because of passes that we bought, they're actually unlimited within the, like the, um, word space is my mind. We'll just go within this season. The season's not the word I'm looking for, but you get the point. Semester. That's the word. Um, so basically for the full semester, we'd be able to get as many hours as we desire, pretty much. We'd have to let them know how long. Uh, because there are still others who want to join, too. It's like a seven-lane, small, little bowling alley. But even still, that is definitely one of a few sports that I actually do enjoy, and I won't end up disliking regardless of what you do. Another one... This one's a bit complicated. So, bear in mind, I do not like golf. But I do like doing those little... Uh, activities that technically involve the same kind of idea uh, there's a location called top golf where you're basically hitting the ball out into the golfing range except there's some mini games involved with it if you so desire that's kind of what i like about it it's more you don't have to be dead silent all the time that's kind of what draws the attention away from normal golf for me is that you have to be absolutely silent and i'm not good at that <laughs> I am not good at that at all. Um, but doing th those little other side put activities, those are actually fun for me. Uh, mini golf is another thing I'd be willing to do. It's just normal golf specifically. Just normal, regular golf I won't ever, I just don't like. Same for the same reason for like fishing or stuff like that. Which brings me to another one I enjoy. Boating. Water skiing. Or tubing. Stuff like that I actually do like doing. And this is coming from someone who also pretty much was born and raised in a desert. And technically does still live in a desert of sorts, but not the same kind I was born and raised in. Um, either way, though, yeah. Sports-wise, that's pretty much a list of stuff that I like. I mean, I like doing all this extra stuff. Sure, a lot of the time... I'll stay inside and do games when there's nothing else much to do. But that's usually because people are just inaccessible. And as far as the board game thing goes, from like from what I said a while ago, I haven't done that in a while, but it's just because I get myself occupied with time a lot. Of, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So there is that, too. But I digress. There is one other thing that I enjoy doing over all the other things that I've listed so far. That's actually spending time. This one's probably a no-brainer, but with Pink Fox. I don't like overwhelming her, and I know she has friends, close friends at that, that she likes talking to and spending time around, and I respect that. I mean, all of us do. For me, it's actually um, Aaron, who actually, fun fact, is working on progress to owning his own technology-based technology business. Uh, it's basically a business where he'd like run apps and stuff, I believe. It's still in the works. So that I don't know all the details to it, but it's one of those things where he's working on it, he's getting there, and I'm pretty much open to help. I may actually start, in the distant future, I may start doing uh, these $10 a month classes that he recommended uh, to me, which I could probably also re uh, react to as well, because these classes are also technically a game. <laughs> um, but even with that said, I guess my point of what I was saying is like spending time with specifically Pink Fox and Aaron, of everything I do in my life, those, those two things are definitely by far my favorite things to do. Pink Fox, for obvious reasons, she's my wife, and I love spending time around love. I always have, always will. Even when there are hiccups and I say, like, I, I don't have time or I'm not going to end up coming over to, like, family things or something like that, it's usually because there's something going on on my end that I'd rather just not impact other people with. Um, and there have been times where I have impacted others and I hate the outcome. 
I end up blaming myself. Not in a sense where it's like hateful blame. Just, look, this is the fact. I'm to blame. I'm the reason this happened. Let me just do what I can to fix it kind of thing. I'd rather avoid that as much as I can. And, but when that's not going on, you can bet your bottom dollar. I try to do what I can to spend as much time with Pink Fox and Aaron as much as I can. I mean, Pink Fox more than Aaron for obvious reasons. Once again, obvious reasons. But with Aaron, he is, outside of Pink Fox, who definitely takes the cake on this one by a long shot for, once again, for the billionth time, obvious reasons, Aaron sits pretty much as my, my, he's my closest friend outside of my wife, pretty much. My wife is my best friend, but he's like, if best friends had a list, he'd be that next in the list. He's helped me through a lot of hard stuff, and so has Amber. I mean, spending time with those two is honestly my favorite thing to do. Circulating back to where this started, though, this is just kind of a list of stuff I like doing outside of, you know, the gaming aspect. And admittedly, when I hang out with Aaron a lot of the time, one of the two of us is gaming, but we're also conversing. That's kind of where it hits for me, though. It's more the conversation is the reason I like hanging out with him, not the games that we do. I mean, we'll use the game as core for venting sometimes, but that's not the reason. Having that company alone does a lot for me. And honestly, overall, hanging out with Pink Fox and Ern, definitely my favorite thing to do. Always will be. A lot of people think it's like the game, the video games because of that stereotype of video game addicts and how it destroys people, but realistically, no, not entirely. It depends on the person, and depends on how they are and what, how they see reality, how they perceive reality, but that's a topic for a different day. As far as like the YouTube stereotype where any gamer YouTuber must be a gamer IRL, like all the time gamer, that's not true. Well, that's kind of why I wanted to talk about this in the first place. I'm an open book as to any activity, as long as it's not the, s- the specific generic sports everybody seems to love. And scream at. Yeah, that's what got me away from it. The screaming at the TV or at the uh, players for doing it not the way that the, the audience wanted. And I'm not talking about, like, boos or cheers. I mean actual demands. The kind of thing that would get you kicked out of, like, a stadium or anything, really. It's basically the verbal way of throwing a tomato at someone. For sucking. But I digress. Given that where we are in time, I'm actually going to leave this here. I think I got the point across. What is your guys' favorite activity? Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out any um, other About Me type of things? Uh, Why not click the link on this side of my head, and you'll be able to find quite the list over there. Some of it may be outdated by now, I'm not sure. Some of it I haven't gone through in a while, so I don't know. Um, But otherwise, if this isn't quite floating your boat, you stuck to the end, first of all. Thank you for that. Uh, Second of all, click the link on this site and maybe you'll find something on the channel that you may enjoy a bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys once again for tuning into this video, and we hope to see all of you in another one. See you guys later.